Hey guys and welcome back to World of Animals. Today we are doing another species profile, this time about the leopard gecko, yeah the Oibliferus macularius. And I will show you how to keep them and what do they need. So let's get into it. So first of all these geckos come from Afghanistan, Pakistan and some parts of India. And they live in dry areas like steppes for example and mostly um, they're living in small groups with one male and a few females like I'm keeping them in here you shouldn't keep too many males or <laughs> even two males inside one terrarium because sometimes they are fighting so their terrarium should be around 100 centimeters long 50 deep and 50 high um, which are 40 inches long 20 deep and 20 high and at day the humidity should be around 30 to 40 percent and at night 70 to 80 percent and yeah I'm keeping my leopard geckos inside a 120 centimeter terrarium because more space is always better for them because they can hide in more places and the like to walk around sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, you need a spot uh, with 35 degrees Celsius which are 95 degrees Fahrenheit and the rest of the terrarium should be around 25 degrees Celsius which are 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it could be a, uh, a little bit more but it doesn't have to so yeah, and at night uh, room temperature is uh, totally enough for them. And you can use UV light as well. Uh, I don't do that at this terrarium, but I did it in the past and it's not necessary, but uh, you can do it for more colors on the geckos and because it's more natural, but these geckos are usually active at night um, as you see my geckos are all out at the moment because they are thinking they get some food now um, but actually they're active at night so they don't need any UV light and for the scape you should use wood um, like I have back there or stones and all kinds of caves for example, I have three caves in here. I have this one over here, one is under here, and this one. And the sand shouldn't be too soft because that can hurt their bones, especially if they are grown up. And what they always need is a wet box, like I have over here. That's a place that stays always wet. It shouldn't be um, dry at any time because they need a place where they uh, can lay eggs if they are breeding and if they um, are about to lose their skin uh, they need some uh, high humidity around 80 percent 80 or 90 percent so I have this box um, with a high humidity because I keep some moss in here that's always wet as you see and I put it under here because there it isn't too warm and the moisture stays in there and as you see here the sand isn't too soft it's kinda hard but if they want to dig they can so this is a pretty nice sand I use and of course they always need water because animals drink yeah that's very wise I know and over here one of them the male I keep they are always curious if you walk around your room they will come out and look what's going on I have actually some plants in here no don't jump out um, but you don't need any plants, I just do this for the look. <laughs> and make sure they have some places to climb, like 
my escape background here. And yeah, actually that's it. I've kept these geckos for plenty of years now and they're totally fine. I had some juveniles. Um, I showed one of it uh, in a past video but I sold it actually because four is enough to me <laughs> and at the moment I don't want to get them to breed because I want to focus on my tanks and my fish but I won't sell these four I love this group they all have uh, much personality especially this guy here it's the male it's look how curious he is always but yeah they're very beautiful and cute it looks like actually they are always smiling so cool to feed them you can use any type of crickets and uh, mealworms for example but uh, you don't feed any fruits or stuff like that to them because they won't eat it. These geckos come from steps as I mentioned and there they only get some insects to eat. But they absolutely love mealworms. But if you feed too much of them to these geckos they will get fat and you won't um, do that because it can cause sicknesses. For these geckos you can do a hibernation um, if you want to get them to breed but it's not always necessary and if you do it only do it with adult geckos and not with uh, with any juveniles so for the hibernation you should keep them for six to eight weeks at a temperature of 15 to 18 degrees Celsius, which are 59 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit and um, for the hibernation a small box with a cave and some water is already enough to them because uh, at this time they won't be very active and they won't eat so you don't have to feed them and one thing I just can recommend to all of you guys is buying a book about a species you're going to keep. Like I have books about most of my animals and it's always helpful if you have questions or you're wondering how to do something, you just can look it up inside your book. And a small update on some of my tanks here so you get to see some fish <laughs> um, in the last video no two videos ago I did a new filter for my 14 gallon tank this one over there I turned it off right now because it's so noisy and the water was always cloudy before I added this filter and now it looks way better it's definitely better Okay, the tank is kind of dirty right here, but it worked and I scared all of my fish. But it looks way better and I'm pretty happy. And a small update on my breeding tanks too. As you can see, the java moss just grew insane. You know, um, as I set up these tanks, the java moss was about this high, and all this grew in the past two weeks. Everyone in here is doing pretty, pretty well, and hopefully, in two more weeks or something like that, I will get some new fry. I'm really excited about that. So that's it for today guys. Hopefully you learned something and you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to. See you on the next video.